Hey guys, welcome back. Um, we are going to check the weather today. It's going to be sunny tomorrow. And we got good humor today. Let's see what we got from the Queen of Sauce. Big fish. All right. So let's water our crops, get that done. Um, okay, so what's going on today? It is summer and it is the seventh. It is a Sunday. I could go down to see what the cart lady has, but again, I don't like to window shop if I don't have the money to really buy stuff. And I'm trying to save up my money for upgrades because we need to upgrade um, our tools, our house, our coop, our barn. We got a radish. Um, so yeah, oh, we got two radishes and, um, we need to go, um, yeah, I don't know what we need to do. Maybe f go do some more fishing today. We almost had the sturgeon yesterday. Almost. Not quite though. And, but we did, um, get our fishing level up, so... Maybe we should try that again today. <clears throat> um, and the more we raise that level, obviously, the longer the bar is going to get. So that's just not going to do anything but benefit us even more. So, Well, why can I not water that one crop? <laughs> My watering can just does not want to go there. So I'm going to keep one radish and I'm going to sell one radish and we have a fiddlehead fern that we got. So um, let's go ahead and sell the milk only because um, we do not have the cheese thingy yet. So I want to put my rainbow trout in there because we got um, two and we sold one yesterday. And then what else? Um, let's move these up here. Um, actually, I want to move this over here. Okay. That's fine. And we need that. We need to take that to Gunther. So let's put that over here too. I'm just trying to make some more room. Um, so that we can um, let's go by the community center and uh, drop off what do I have in here I still have that chub <laughs> that I don't know if I need yet because I keep forgetting to look oh the fountain is stunning today I wonder why his outfit didn't really change a whole lot. Hi Riley. The weather is astonishing, wouldn't you say? <clears throat> Did you know this fountain is 30 years old? It's maintained and repaired by a technician from Crampleton. Did not know that. Are you making progress cultivating your farm? I haven't visited it since you allowed me to set up my experiment in the cave, which I'm still thankful for. Sure. What should I say? Um, Robin constructed buildings on my farm. I'm looking into crafting sprinklers to automate watering. I've been focusing on honing my combat skills and fishing. Um, I mean, yeah, I want sprinklers. That's a smart idea. Automating the process should save you time. Darn right it would. Glad you're doing fine here in Stardew Valley. Owning a farm is a lot of work and may be overwhelming at times. Speaking of Stardew Valley, do you know where our valley gets its name? Does our valley get its name from space stuff? Because star do something? I don't know. Where does the name come from? Um, yeah, let's just ask. Allow me to tell you. I knew you would. A 
thousand years ago, a huge meteor shower periodically bombarded this specific area of the Ferngill Republic. Of course, back then, the Republic didn't exist yet. The meteors were so plentiful that their trails looked like fibers stretched across the sky. The meteorites looked like tiny drops on the trails, like morning dew on a spider web. So our ancestors called these showers the silk dew of the stars. When the Ferngill Republic was first established 150 years ago, the admission union named this valley Stardew in honor of our ancestors. Aww. Have you ever wondered why your crops are always healthy or why they're so easily bear high quality produce? That's because of the meteor shower. The soil in the valley is extremely fertile. It has an abundance of nutrition nutrients such as nitro nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. There's also a high concentration of minerals present in the soil, including zinc, magnesium, boron, iron, sulfur, cobalt, copper, magnesium, and so on. Oh my gosh, that's a lot. You can grow just about anything with ease thanks to the fertile soil. It's the reason so many farmers have established their livelihood in Stardew Valley. That is a lot that that person, that mod who created, came up with. I learned something new. Thanks. Oh my gosh, I'm winded now. I'm happy you know more about the valley and where you live. The combined effects of the of science and history have made Stardew Valley a fascinating place. Holy cow. Oh, look at the time. I didn't mean to keep you so long. Yeah, you did. I'll let you get back to whatever errands you were running. Have a fantastic day, Riley. You too. Oh my gosh. That was long. Okay. Now maybe I can breathe for just a little bit, because, wow. Wow. Okay, boy, that was um, interesting, though, you know. And maybe, you know. Okay. Does the, um, what goes in here? We need to plant some wheat. There we go. Woo! Um, yeah, we need to plant some wheat. But yeah, that was pretty long-winded. I'm like kind of tired now. Really. Okay, you think we can get the sturgeon today, you guys? Wish me luck. Lots and lots of luck. I'm gonna need it. Hey, Linus. Okay, Sturgeon, I'm coming for you. And that other fish, I wonder what the other fish is. That has like a 3% chance. Oh, I think that's a tadpole. I think. Oh, we're going to start out with a carp. At least they're easy. And at least fishing is good for leveling up, but it's also good for um, money when we sell the fish. So, that's a plus. Largemouth bass. Um, we want to get that. Could you come up here, please? Our bar is a little bit longer, but not like extremely. Oh gosh, stay with him. Coal. Okay. Can't have enough coal. Not in this game. Another rainbow trout. Okay. <sighs> Just end my suffering. End my suffering. So, um, I know I've talked about my dogs before, how um, our female Cocker Spaniel we had to have put down about a month ago. Well, her half-brother is a year younger than she was, and she was thir she was 14. So, he's 13, and he's not doing well now. And I think I've mentioned that before in one of my videos, but I don't remember which one. Um... <clears throat> He really hasn't been eating much. He's been on an antibiotic and steroids. 
um, but he really hasn't been eating very much. And today, every time he tried to eat, he um, couldn't keep it down. So he ate a little bit tonight. I'm kind of hoping he'll be able to keep it down. Um, he's already in bed with my husband. Um, but yeah, he just, um, he's been sticking to me like glue because when he doesn't feel good, he always wants to be near me, which is heartening, heartwarming, but it's like when I go to work, um, come Monday, I'm going to hate to leave him. But, um, and this, uh, a lot of it, he has a lot of health issues anyway, but he has a cyst on his leg and. Um, the vet pretty much said surgery is a no-go just because of all his health issues. So, um, we're just trying to make him as comfortable as possible right now. It's just really tough. It's, it's very, very tough. Um, so it's kind of a waiting game and it's hard to watch. It's hard to watch. I'm constantly checking on him. <laughs> Um, but he always stays in here in my office with me um, during the day and the evening before bed. So um, he did go in the kitchen with me a couple times today. He did go outside um, before bed. He did drink a bunch of water, which was really good. Because Mocha, uh, my female cocker spaniel, had gotten to the point where she quit eating and drinking. And she had lost like five pounds uh, in about a month's time before she had to go. So, um, it's just not a good sign when they're not eating. Period. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm just really upset and he's just completely so on my mind right now that it's hard to concentrate or really do anything. Um, you know, I, I hate to sound, I hope it doesn't sound mean, but I was kind of like, God, if you're just going to take him, just take him quickly, take him now. Um, I won't let him suffer though. If he gets to the point where he just is having a, a really difficult time, um, I'll probably have him put down and it's, that is just one of the hardest things on this earth to do. It, it just is. I have put down now at least four of our dogs um, and it's just it never gets easier it's so tough it's a very it's a very hard difficult decision to even make in the first place <clears throat> so yeah I, um, I I'm kind of hoping he'll go on his own Maybe in his sleep. So, I know I'm being selfish because I just really don't want to make that decision. Um, I want God to just take him. But, um, yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. So, um, gaming right now, because he is always by my side, um, it's a little bit easier because I can keep an eye on him. But gaming is kind of the only thing that keeps my mind off of that right now. Um, even when I'm at work, it's hard not to think about it. Um, even though I'm really busy at work, for some reason, it just doesn't keep my mind off of him. Um, so it makes the days really long because um, all I want to do is come home. But um, the gaming kind of takes my mind off it as long as he's next to me. Makes me feel better that he's next to me. Well, we're just not doing good in the sturgeon area, are we? Not being very nice. I thought we had good luck today. I thought the uh, good luck um, also was for lake fishing and stuff. And not just mining. <clears throat> but we're not having very good luck even getting a nibble from one today. Lots of tiger trout style and carp and chubs, which is not exactly what I was wanting. Okay, come on, sturgeon. Oh my gosh, really? 
Oh, well, we've gotten some treasure chests. So. The one thing about carps and chubs, they just really don't uh, put up much of a fight. Oh, we got some bait. Um, we, and I just used the last of my bait. That's so funny. It's like, how did you know? That was, okay, that was lucky. Uh, I'll give you that. Uh, I'll give you that one. Wow, okay. The carps are plentiful today. Wow. I mean, we've got a couple more hours, but still. Sheesh. Put me out of my misery. Wow, where are you going? You're kind of feisty. You're just a little bit feisty. Um, yeah, I don't. That, you know, like everybody, or at least a lot of people have their um, special fishing spots that they like to go to, whether it's the river or the lake. Um, and, uh, can I just get you? No. I don't know if these fish are just for show or if those are actually the ones that are like you can get a nibble on. I, that's what I don't know about this mod. Um, because there's a, there's a sturgeon over here swimming around, and I don't know. Oh, there's a chub. Let's see if he, see if this is a chub. No, it's a carp, so maybe not. Maybe it's just for show. Well, in that case, I'm about going back over. So, yeah, like I was saying, um, a lot of people have their favorite fishing spots, and this is mine for the lake. Obviously not today. Okay, buddy. Quit moving around. Quit moving around. <clears throat> Sturgeon, go down there and get the line. Go down, go down. Grr. Okay, obviously it was not our lucky day on fishing. Although, it's just helping us level up, I know. But the sturgeon's getting ready to leave for the day, so... Hmm. In fact, he just left. Okay, we'd be done today. Well, bummer. Okay. You know, we tried again and whatever. What ifs? There's always tomorrow, I know, and it's only the seventh. Oh, let's go up here and check this out up here. Um, yeah, I guess we're not getting that cutscene yet. We don't have that yet, right? Ridside mine carts. Yeah, we don't have that one yet. Okay. Let's go up here and just look around for a little bit then. That's where Susan lives, by the way. I don't think we've been up there since the boulder was removed. Um, yeah, I've been kind of laxed on that. Not good, not good. Let's go sell our fish and um, go check out our cave. Okay. Oh, I got a lot of fish. That was a lot of fish. <laughs> that was a lot of fish. <clears throat>
I just kind of want to cut down a few trees. We need wood, I'm sure. Because I don't think I've cut anything down for a while. Oh, that's nice. But that's just the copper axis of it. Yeah, that's just, that's the first time I've upgraded it, really. Did not realize that. Well, that means a lot, so we definitely need to get that up that to silver. Definitely need to get that to silver. Yeah, not much of nothing in here right now. We just kind of was in here, so. Mm -hmm. Mushroom. No, can't pick it up? Oh, okay. There's not really anything over here today. I guess those are just decoration here. I thought they were actually mushrooms that I could pick up. Yeah, what do I know? Oh, and we have this other place that I don't think, well, gosh darn it, I did not know that was there. Like, no wonder I can't move. We have this other little secret mine right here, um, but we can't get into it yet until we can break that rock. So, we aren't able to do that yet. Hopefully, um, <clears throat> hopefully when we get our pickaxe back, we'll be able to break that. Alrighty, well, we're going to go to bed. We'll probably just do one more day. Level four fishing. We got the recycle machine. Yes. That thing is so awesome. Got some more money. Awesome. That is great. And we're on day eight. Okay. Your still packs. Oh, good. Pickaxe is ready. Okay. Going to be clear and sunny. And we're in good humor today. Well, good. Okay, looks like we got a um, poppy. So we can get this stuff watered and get down and get our pickaxe. Um, maybe we should spend our time at the mine today since it's a good luck day. And um, instead of fishing more. So we can get some more silver. And we're getting, we're getting pretty far on the floors. Um, we've done really well with that. <clears throat> I'm like, I hope I planted everything of all the vegetables that we need for the bundle. I like how those little flowers are like bouncing. They're like bouncing to the beat of the music. That's pretty cute. Okay, let's quit watering the same plant over and over again, shall we? hate when I do that or I go in the wrong direction that's the other thing that just makes me nuts but I do it all the time it's just so easy to do are you gonna let me get through these crops without running out of water yay okay good job hey buddy Okay, let's see, um, definitely need that, do I need that, um, yeah, we don't have any, 
Well, we've got 10 silver bars, so that's fine. We've got enough to at least do that. But I mean, that doesn't mean we can't just go, um, let's just put this stuff in here. <clears throat> and let's go get our pickaxe and then let's go, um, oh, we got a cutscene. Um, this is embarrassing. How long were we even gone that we don't know where to go? Let me think. Maybe we could... Hmm. Well? Yep, we're lost. I hope someone passes by so we can ask for directions. Malaya, she's very pretty. <clears throat> oh, young lady, would you be a deer and help us find our way to the cable car? We seem to have lost our way. Some help, thank you. Is that Kimpoi, maybe? Oh no, we're not tourists. We just haven't returned for a long time. We were traveling around the world for reasons. Oh yes, the cable car. So could you guide us there? We're really sorry to bother you. Okay. Ah, uh, so this is where it was. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm sorry, we forgot to introduce ourselves. My name is Malaya, Malaya, and this here is my husband, Kim Poi. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you're Riley, so you're the new farmer who moved into the valley. My sister mentioned you in one of her letters. You've been really helpful, Riley. We really appreciate it. It's quite embarrassing, really, forgetting the whereabouts of your own hometown. <clears throat> that would be kind of weird. All right, then. I think we better go. See you around, Riley. I guess it depends on how long they were gone, though. So you're telling me you dropped my crockpot because you were excited for a phone call from some lottery? Now tell me. How much did you win? Will it cover the broken crockpot? The one I use all the time? That I had to special order because they're not sold around here? Uh oh. Now, sweetie pie, I, uh. Correction, the one I used all the time. It's long gone, Bert. Shattered. All for the measly 20 coins you won in a lottery. I told you they were scams. And the lottery ticket cost 25 gold? For Pete's sake, Bert. Why? Oh my goodness. Hey, watch where you... Ollie? Sis? Hey, what's the hold up? What's going on? Hey, Olga, Bert. Oh, her eyes are so pretty. Smoking horses, you two. You're back. We're sorry we didn't inform you ahead of time, Ollie. We were kind of... <clears throat> I have so much, so much to tell and scold you about, big brother. But not now. Ollie, hey, why are your lips trembling? Are you okay? Aww. That's so sweet. She missed her big brother, or little brother, I'm not sure. I miss you, you big oaf. Ollie. That's sweet. It's nice seeing you too, Malaya. How are your legs doing? Getting used to those yet? Missing your fit? Oh, God. Shh. We're not alone. Oh, so she must have been in some kind of accident or something. 
Oh, Riley didn't see you there. You heard nothing. <laughs> oh, and I guess you've met them. Well, I kind of did hear something. Riley here guided us to where the cable car was. We sort of forgot the whereabouts. Well, it's been so long. On that topic, it's been so long since your daughter saw you too. Uh-oh. You both should hurry up and go to her. How's our sweet baby girl? I, I don't know how to approach her now. Allie. Stop sulking and go to her. Oh, yes, we have to go. Thank you once again, Riley. Let's go meet our daughter. Oh, that is very interesting, isn't it? They headed off to Ridgeside Village. Would you like to follow them? Um, yeah, let's follow them. Let's see where this goes. Oh, you're coming with us, Riley? Well, yeah. Thought I'd tag along. What are you two nervous about? She's right in there. Go on. Why are you two hiding here? Olga, it's been so long. We left her to you nine years ago. I still remember her crying her heart out as we departed. Oh no. I don't know how to approach her. I'm not gonna cry. We weren't able to tell her the truth before, but I think we should soon, dear. Ugh. Yeah, sooner than later. Someday, hon. What do you mean someday? You two will figure that out eventually, but for now you shouldn't be afraid of meeting her after all these years. I'm sure she misses you both so much. Oh my gosh, really. Don't you both worry. I'm sure little Elisa would understand the both of you. Oh, Lordy. Thank you. You too. I just can't stop being nervous. Okay, take two. I hope this new song sounds all right with a higher octave. Oh, Lord. She's the singer. Is that... Your daughter's voice is magical, isn't it? You don't know how proud our family is of her. Our little Lissa. Oh, dear. That's our daughter. Oh my gosh, you guys. I didn't know I was going to cry in Stardew Valley. <clears throat> Phew, I think I need a breather. Me too. Huh. Y'all are killing me here. Auntie, what are you doing here? Don't tell me you and Uncle Bert are snooping around while I sing again. It's embarrassing. Well, I don't think your uncle and I are alone this time. More people heard that? This is really embarrassing. Hi, my dear. M Mom? Oh, gosh. Our little Lissa. Oh, my gosh. Mom? Dad? Oh, my Lissa. Oh, my gosh. My dear Lissa. You've grown so much. Well, nine years? Yeah, I would think so. We... We're really sorry for leaving you behind all those years ago. We're really sorry. Mom, it's all right. I'm sure you had your reasons. I'm just happy you're both back. Well, y'all, I did not know Stardew was going to do that to me. We have a lot of catching up to do. You sang beautifully, my dear. Mom, you guys heard that too? This is really embarrassing. Okay. I don't even remember where we were going now, you guys. I'm just like, wow. Whoever wrote that scene did a beautiful job. I could just even feel that. Could you? Holy cow. Um, I don't think we need this poppy in here, to be honest. Um, let's just see where we're at now. Um. Oh, I think I know where it goes. Um, 
I'm just looking while I'm here. Since I'm close. <laughs> oh, I do need one of those. Um, okay. <sighs> so since I also played this on another playthrough, not this particular one, but another one, um, I get the bundles mixed up a lot. That's where we needed a poppy. Okay. All right, good. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> most of the bundles are the same, but there's a few that are just a little different. And, like, my, the one, the, uh, the one I play offline um, did not need a certain thing, and I thought it did, and now it's because this one did. <laughs> So, yeah, that's not helpful, I know. Oh, I gotta go get the pickaxe. Oh, my God. You guys, seriously. That cutscene, like, threw me for a loop right there. I mean, really. It, it kind of did me in. <sighs> Never knew a game would do that to me, especially Stardew. <clears throat> that was, like, pretty wild. Oh, I don't really want a Jojo Cola. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so... Oh, that's wonderful to have that. Um, now i got to fix the order. Um, you can just go over here. Um, yeah, that's amazing. So, now we need to get our, our axe upgraded. And I'll feel like we're really progressing um, once we can do that. We've got the money and, you know what? We've got the money and the silver. So let's do it. Let's do it. And get her done. So this playthrough ended up being a little bit longer than anticipated. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying. Um, I was not expecting that cutscene. And it was a long one. Between that one and Demetrius's cutscene, I'm like, wow. Wow. Okay. Let's take this guy down there and get it dropped off, and then we'll go to the mines for a little bit. I kind of need a break from fishing. <coughs> Good day, Riley. I've been pretty busy today. What about you, Kenneth? He's handsome. Like, he seriously is handsome. I'm, I'm really liking him. Oh, thanks. Oh, okay. Y'all are really making my day today. Who is that? Oh, that's Alex. He's got on just a t-shirt. Hey, farmer girl, you've got a nice tan going. Oh, thanks. Does he sell the ice cream? Because don't we need that for um, one of the bundles? I did not want to do that. Yep. Oh my gosh, guys, we're really going now. If he's selling ice cream, we need to buy one. Because I think we need that for a bundle. We'll look on the way up. Yeah, we're never getting the mines very well, are we? This is why I get such a delay, because it's just like a domino effect. One thing after another happening, um, which is exciting. Don't get me wrong. But yeah, it um, kind of makes me delay in a lot of stuff. Now, um, let's make sure we need this for this, because I thought we did. I already gave him an ice cream. That's okay. It's good for energy. It's not money wasted, so uh, I'm all right with that. It just delayed us a little bit. That's all right. <clears throat> Marnie looks so different. What sort of gadget should I, should I tinker with this summer? I don't know. I really don't know. 
Yeah, because we need to get down there. We need to get down lower levels and get some iridium so that we can um, get that minecart going. I'll get that on the way back if I have room. Um, we've got to get the minecarts fixed. This is just so ridiculous to have to go this far. The only bad part of this um, is having to go that far. But once the minecarts are done, we'll, we'll be Gucci. Okay, so we're on level 65. I just went right through him. Okay. Um, I don't know why I'm doing that. Oh, come on over here. <clears throat> okay. More than one? Uh-uh. That's fine. Oh, yeah. We don't have to double hit rocks now. Oh, and we got a ladder real quick. Cool. Just want to make sure there is anything I want over here before we go. Nice. I'm so glad we upgraded our pickaxe. Oh, come here. Come with us. <laughs> Come with us. Okay. Um, like I don't. Oh my gosh. Don't be shy. <laughs> don't be afraid. Ooh. Wow. All right. I could just quit going through the the slime buckets. That would be good. All right. So, wow, we're off to a good start. Um, <clears throat> oh, so gratifying. And we get the magnet ring now. So, oh my gosh, guys. I feel like we're finally getting somewhere. If you would be a little faster, Ghost, I would appreciate it. Please? Thank you. Oh, it's getting dark. The bats are coming. Come on. Thank you. All right. Time to stand our <laughs> battlefield. Just kind of what it feels like. We're going to go down. Oh. <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? Do you see what we fell into? We're trapped. Well, okay. If we must, we must. Kitchen, 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 kitchen. Alrighty, you're next. Oh, but this one's got barrels. Normally they don't. That's kind of a nice touch. I don't care about the wood. Copper would be nice, but um. I'm more all about getting down the levels right now than I am the other stuff. Unless there's just something that I just can't live without. <laughs> well, you are a feisty one. Okay, so. That was interesting. Yay! And we don't have any room for it. Okay, and it's a slingshot. Um, Jojo Cola time. We got a scroll. I don't know if we have the... Oh, we must not have that one because Gunther needs it. Awesome. Yeah, I don't mind this level like at all. 
a magnet ring. We don't need that now. Oh my gosh. I don't really care about the bones and stuff. Um, I would go over and get that silver. Let's just go down. It's nine o'clock already. I really like this copper though, and I don't think I have room for it. So we're gonna make room because I really want that copper. Um, first of all, we could just eat this cake carrot. Yeah. Okay, let's go down. We're at 72. This is basically just out of defense, really. I don't really want the bones yet. I mean, I can come back and get them late at another time. Wow, I've got like slimes all over me. Sheesh. Y'all are mean. Okay, we can get some silver hair. All for it. It's funny because in my other playthrough I was trying to get silver and I just went through this like a million times to get silver. Okay, we're at 76, you guys. We are rolling. It's 1030. I'm trying to keep my eye on the clock as well. And I'm just trying to go through this like really quick. Just die. Just die. Come on. Come on. Some of these I know um, will open up a ladder after you've killed um, the last monster or skeleton or whatever. Ghost. Um, and sometimes they don't. But, um, oh. Oh, God, did you see that? That was funny. I do not think we need the ghost fish in this one. Um, I could be wrong. So just in case, um, what can we do? Um, hmm. I kind of don't want to keep giving up my sap because um, I know we need that. Oh, well, I think we need that. There. We'll take it just in case, because um, I can't remember. Oh, thank you. Well, that's lucky. See how fast we can get down here, because if we can get to level 80 tonight, yeah, we may not make it at home in time tonight. <laughs> No, I don't have time for that. Give me a ladder, give me a ladder, give me a ladder, give me a ladder. Um, I don't have time for you. Yeah. There's a clovering. Now that I don't need it, that is so funny. Yeah, we are not making it home tonight. Um, on time. Okay. Fireworker shoes. Okay, so where the heck is that gonna go? Because I don't want to get rid of anything. Um, we're gonna get rid of rocks because we can get a ton of rocks whenever. Um, look how far we've gotten, you guys. That is great. And my dog is wanting... Oh, I want to go to zero. <clears throat> okay, well, that is going to end it for tonight. Um, for this episode. Y'all have a great night. Sweet dreams. And I will see you soon.